resolution does it include heading to the gym. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, is here with some good advice to keep your body healthy in the new year of 2016. And we talked about this. Stephen met some people that he's never going to see again after two weeks. And it's so said, nice you know, I get to meet a whole bunch of brand new people. I'll never see them again in two weeks. Yeah, and, and just like you said, you know, the New Year's resolutions I hear most from my patients and other folks who are not my patients said they'd like to lose some weight and exercise more. Now, countless people rush to the neighborhood gym with a credit card in hand, hopeful that this is the year they're going to stick to the exercise plan. I'm here to advocate for finding ways to be active in your everyday life, not just your gym. Now, this week, as we're ramping up for the new year, we're talking about what healthy means to you. Hashtag healthy means that is. I'd love to hear from you from uh, Twitter with your answers. You know, it's crucial to be active physically and mentally and find an activity that works for you. So first of all, move naturally. Let me be clear about this. When I say this, you don't need an expensive gym membership to achieve a fit body. Sure, the guidance of trained professionals at a gym is helpful, but mindful choices in your everyday life are more important and easier to maintain. Garden, walk, you know, make some changes in your habits. Take the stairs instead of the elevator. Park in the back of the lot and walk mm. at least 10 minutes. I'd like 30 minutes every day. Now you'll notice a definite change. Number two, lack of fitness can result in disease. If you don't use it, guess what? You lose it. Obesity, diabetes, and other illnesses can be all avoided if you make an effort just to move every single day. Now let's wrap up what we learned so far this week. Healthy means having a healthy mindset, eating healthy, and having some healthy activity in your life. Now coming up at 5 o'clock, we'll talk about why a sharp mind leads to a sharp life. And my little advice is if you have a bad day today, don't just quit. Just exactly. say, get going Perseverance. back tomorrow. Perseverance. Perseverance. All right, what do you